To add models to your scene, first place the files in the public folder of your project. Now when it comes to the code, we've got two options. The first is using a combination of the use loader hook and a loader. So let's start by importing them both. And here, since we are working with GLTF files, I'll import the GLTF loader from the core of 3GS. Next, we need to create a new component where we'll call the use loader hook. It takes two arguments, the loader type and the path to the model file. Then we'll return a primitive component with the model passed to its object property. Before we proceed, let's understand what a primitive is. So, as we've seen throughout this series, every part of a React 3 fiber scene is represented by a component, whether it's a light source, mesh, material, geometry, helper, etc. That said, some objects don't have a corresponding component, and loaded models are one example of this. So, what do we do in this case? Exactly, you got it right, we simply use the primitive component. Back to the code, now we'll add the model component to the canvas, and that's it. By the way, your model will most likely appear completely black if you don't have a light source in your scene, so make sure to add one. And there we go, now we can treat the model the same way we do with other objects. For example, if we want to move it, we can use the position prop on the primitive component. And that's the first way to load the model. The second is almost the same, except that we'll use a hook from Dre that corresponds to the type of file. So once again, since I have GLTF files, I'll import the use GLTF hook. Then I'll create another custom component, called the hook, and that's it.